Ed? Richard, do you hear me? Yeah, got you. Uh, what can you say just about Marcus's effort tonight? Just uh, incredible will to win there for him. Amazing. Um, I guess it was, the I want to say Spencer said on the radio, it's the fifth time in Gopher basketball history, which would seem like a lot to me, actually, uh, 40 points. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we would have had no shot without him. You know, we're clearly struggling to score the ball at other spots. Um, I actually yelled to him in the first half. I said, go get us 40. And he got us 41. So almost willed us to victory. I'm, I'm proud of him. He showed unbelievable heart and determination. All right. As a, as a reminder, if you have a question for coach, go ahead and send me a message in chat. Uh, Marcus Schooler, go ahead. Then we'll go to Daniel House. Coach, you know, uh, you know, Liam's second game in a row, not in there. Um, were they getting too many easy baskets? You're not the rim. And did you feel like that was a, a big deal? Tonight? Yeah, I mean, defensively, we're turning people over. But, you know, I, I mean, I don't want to use injuries because, but, you know, those two guys, Gabe and, and Liam, are big parts of it. Um, they're such a hard driving team. We would have been able to probably block some more shots. Now, we were able to turn them over a little bit, but of course, um, we're missing them. Daniel House, go ahead. Richard, outside of personnel issues, what do you think was the biggest problem tonight in this game? I just defensively couldn't really get a stop. And then I thought we missed a lot of open shots. Um, you know, we, where we came back was we had them in a double bonus. And that's where we started chipping away and getting points. Reminder, send me a message in chat. We'll go back to Andy Greeter. Uh, a key moment was when uh, Marcus got fouled there. Did you get an explanation on on that being on the floor or in the air? What did you think of that one? What did you think? I don't know. I mean, I thought he got fouled. I, I did, but um, I'm not going to stress. Or I thought he was shooting. Uh, but again, not going to stress about it. You know, it, it is what it is. Marcus Fuller? Um, you know, we, you had, did you have a long chat with the team? Um, what did you say to him tonight? No, I mean, I won't tell you everything, but I just told them, I said, listen, you know, enjoy the process. Enjoy being in college. It's a weird college experience, obviously, um, but embrace it. Love it. Um, you know, love the, the time that you have with your teammates. Love playing basketball. Um, obviously, we've dealt with a lot of adversity. Uh, you know, the one thing I've said over and over again is nobody's ever going to feel sorry for you. And uh, that's just the reality of it. So uh, pour your heart and soul into whatever it is that you do every single day, and you'll enjoy that process. I don't see any more questions in chat. I'll give it another couple of seconds if people have it. Go ahead, send me a message. If not, we'll let Coach on his way. Marcus Fuller? Yes, I know we keep talking about tournament this, tournament that, but I mean, what are you, you know, what are, what are they playing for the rest of the season? You know, talk about pride and, I mean, just get Yeah, I, I mean, you know, it, you don't really talk like that as a coach, you know, you just kind of evaluate the game, um, the Nebraska game, see where we can get better. And then you just prepare for Penn state. You know, you don't, you, you never really look at it like that. All right. I'm not seeing any more questions. So we'll go ahead and, uh, and let coach go. On Thank you way. guys. Thank you. Thank you coach. For student athletes, we'll have Eric Curry in here in a moment. Give me one second. I'll track him down. Eric, what, what can you tell us about what you saw from Marcus tonight? Uh, it wasn't surprising. Uh, we all know how talented of a player he is. Uh, coach actually screamed in the middle of a game, uh, go get us 40. No, he did just that, I think, right? 41. Yeah, 40. So it wasn't surprising to us. Let's go to Andy Greeter. Eric, uh, Richard said that he tried to tell the team to kind of enjoy the process and enjoy being together, even if the, the wins aren't coming. How are you trying to, to lead in this tough time? Uh, just like what he said, just cherish every moment. Uh, I tell all the younger guys, this stuff goes by fast. It still feels like yesterday I was just a freshman, and uh, now I'm a fifth-year player here. And, uh, just cherish every moment that you have here because um, all this stuff goes by fast. College goes by fast. And now you – and then – to you in the real world like they are now. Let's go to Daniel House. And as a reminder, if you have a question, send me a message in chat. Daniel, go ahead. 
Eric, they were really tacking hard off the dribble tonight. Do you think that was one of the biggest challenges that you guys faced tonight? Uh, yeah, I think that's one of the biggest challenges we faced the past two games. Uh, I mean, I think everybody that's everybody's playing with our best defender being out, which uh, Gabe brings in that intensity from that side of the uh, the court. Uh, I think everybody's just trying to do that to us. I don't see any more questions for Eric. I'll give it a couple seconds. If you have one, send me a message. Marcus Fuller. Eric, this is uh, it's your senior year, but we know with everything going on, you know, everybody has a chance to come back. But considering if you don't, what are you playing for? Uh, sense of urgency with the seniors, just trying to go out the best way you can. Oh uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm enjoying the process. Uh, it's been a long one. Uh, I worked my butt off to get back here to this moment. No, I'm just giving my all. I don't see any more questions, so I'll just give it. About three seconds, and if not, we'll let Eric go.